Hello everyone, welcome to Tea and Bant with me. It's me, Mary Elizabeth. In honor of fall coming up um, sooner than we think, I thought I would um, show you two. One is one of my favorite series um, of all time and is still going. And another is, I've started it, I've read the first two um, that is really, really hysterical. So I'm going to start with those. Um, in a previous video, I did mention this author. Um, her name is Robin Peterman. And I will link that video in the description box below. Um, but for this one, um, this series is the Midlife Crisis series. Um, and the first book is called It's a Wonderful midlife crisis and this is book one and i thought with um halloween soon approaching um that this might be a good choice and i'll just read you the synopsis on the back um whoever said life begins at 40 must have been heavily medicated drunk or delusional 39 was a fantastic year i was married to the man i loved I had a body that worked without creaking. My grandmother who raised me was still healthy and life was pretty damn good. But as they say, all good things come to an end. I'd honestly love to know who they, who they are and rip them a new one. One year later, I'm a widow. My joints are starting to ache. Grandma is in a nursing home and dead people think my home is some kind of supernatural bed and breakfast. Gluing body parts onto semi-transparent people has become a side job. Deceased people, I'm not even sure are actually there. I think they need my help, but since I don't speak dead, we're having a few issues. To add to the heap of trouble, there's a new dangerously smoking hot lawyer at work who won't stop giving me the eye. My BFF is thrilled with her new frozen face. Thanks to a plastic surgeon, her alimony check, and the miracle of Botox. And then there's the little conundrum that I'm becoming way too attached to my ghostly squatters. Like Cher, I'd like to turn back time now. No can do. Whatever. I have wine, good friends, and an industrial size box of super glue. What could possibly go wrong? So that is the first book. And then the second book is called um, Whose Midlife Crisis Is It Anyway? Um, it's Good to the Last Death. So that's book two. Um, again, both really funny um, and does have um, some supernatural spooky elements to it. Um, one of my all-time favorite series is the Deadwood series by Anne Charles. Um, and so the first book is called Daily Departed in Deadwood. And I will read you the synopsis to this. Um, little girls are vanishing from Deadwood, South Dakota, fearing her daughter might be next. Single mom, Violet Parker, is desperate to find the monster behind the objections. With her savings dwindling and just three weeks left to sell her first house or lose her job with Calamity Jane Realty, Violet is ecstatic when a handsome jeweler hires her to sell his century-old Victorian masterpiece until she sees the dilapidated dwelling. Now she could somehow convince her only buyer to stop rejecting vintage homes as if they are haunted. Short on time and long on worry, she refuses to give up her dream of a fresh start in Deadwood. But with a malicious co-worker trying to get her fired, a secret admirer sending her creepy messages, and a sexy stranger hiding skeletons in his closet, Will Violet end up as one of Deadwood's dearly departed? Um, I do have the first four, but I'll just show you the second one as well. This is called Optical Delusions in Deadwood. Um, these are really good books. Um, they have ghosts. They have demons. Um, I think it would be a great series 
for the upcoming Halloween season. Um, it's mysterious. There is mystery in this as well as romance. Um, so I highly recommend Anne Charles. And if you are going to buy these books, I recommend you order from Anne Charles yourself. Um, she takes great care in sending you your books. She has beautiful wrapping paper that has the purple cowboy boots on them. She wraps them individually. She will autograph them and write a little note in it. Um, she does give little postcards, bookmarks with her name signed on them. Um, I use them as bookmarks and I keep them. So they are really great. Um, books and care and she does a phenomenal phenomenal you can't even speak phenomenal job and so um, again I think that if it was me I would order from her which is what I tend to do I think I want to say I think there's 12 books out now and I have the first four um, so I need to auto those I will say also on these are on Audible, um, and the narrator does a great job. So if you wanted to use Audible to listen to them, that would not be a bad option either. Um, so I hope this helps in the upcoming fall season. Um, I will do more as we move along. But until next time, I hope that you're all safe, and I hope you're all loved. Bye.